One great use for perfmon counters is to sample how much work is my SQL server doing? It can just be confusing which counter to use. There's a counter called database transactions per sec, and there's a counter called batch requests per sec. Now of these two counters, I much prefer the batch requests per second counter because the databases counter, there's just a lot of stuff that it doesn't see and you might run a lot of that stuff. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna run three queries against my SQL Server instance with a simple PowerShell script. This is just connecting to a little test instance and I'm using the wide world importer sample database that Microsoft gives away for free. The first query that I'm running is gonna run 1500 times and it is a simple update query that's running in auto commit mode. Auto commit mode means I have not explicitly started a transaction. So we just connect, we run this statement, and because I haven't explicitly started a transaction, this just automatically commits in its own transaction. And it is an update statement. The second query I'm gonna run, I'm also gonna run 1500 times. And it's a simple select statement. Also in auto commit mode, just select count star from sales.invoices. Then the third query, is similar, but it's not in auto commit mode. It's that same select query, but it has a begin tran and a commit at the end of it. So I am going to go on over to perfmon and start up collection. I'm gonna unfreeze my display here and I'm gonna let it get going for a second. Just sometimes there's a little bump of activity right when it starts. So let's go back to PowerShell and start up our script. And it's gonna tell me when it finishes each of these commands. So the update is already done. It did all of those in just over one second. Then we have the select in auto commit mode. And now we finished with the select with the explicit transaction. So heading back here, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze my display so we can compare what the counter saw. Now I've got highlighting on and the highlighting is white. So the counter highlighted will turn white. Right now we're looking at the SQL Server databases object, transactions per sec total. So this is all of the database transactions per sec that it saw. This first spike here is that update counter. And if I highlight batch request per sec, we can see that the SQL Server SQL statistics, the batch request per sec, it agrees with transactions per sec. They both saw, oh, hey, you're doing a lot of writes. But then the second query, the select in auto commit mode that didn't have the explicit begin tran commit wrapped around it, my transactions per sec counter completely missed that. This is one of the blind spots for that counter. It just didn't count that at all. But my batch request per second counter under the SQL Server SQL statistics object, it did see that. So that's a whole lot of queries that depending on how your applications work and what's happening, that's a whole lot of queries that potentially you just might not see if you were looking at the transactions per sec counter. Now, once I explicitly did begin tran and then commit that third statement, both of them saw that and agree on it, you know, that it happened. So when it comes to looking at how, how many things am I running in my SQL server, I find that batch request per sec, it just doesn't have nearly as many of these blind spots. And that is the counter that I would baseline for your SQL server instance. <laughs>